It is four laps of racing here for qualifying number one. The supercars here and Lennon Hill are raring to go. As we've got the ready to race sign up there and oh, there may have been a little bit of a false start there by Sellers, but Sellers is gonna go down into P5 as we head then down in towards turn number one. Get a lovely shot here as three cars enter into the Joker. And I think you'll find that O'Donovan here and Steve Hill have stayed out. Yes, they have. So they are on the normal lap here. So Steve Hill will be in second position, but Ollie O'Donovan has got an absolute flyer off of the line yesterday. He's had his lead cut in the championship from 12 down to three after yesterday's racing. And now it's all on whether he can indeed gain that time back. But as we head then through the top of Harry Hill, we come down then to Paddock Bend. Ollie O'Donovan is in a very good position right now, and it'd be interesting to see whether he might just come into the Joker just to try and cover off Toehill. I think Toehill is in third position through the final chicane. They do indeed come Steve Hill, a little bit messy there, and it is indeed O'Donovan who comes in to the Joker. Only a four-lap race here, and will Toehill lead, or will it be O'Donovan? O'Donovan then coming through the chicane, and Toehill's got him here. He does indeed. And as it stands then, O'Donovan is going to be into P2. And I tell you what, Hal Ridge has got Steve Hill here as well. So Hal Ridge then moves up into P3 in that Ford Focus as they come through the Devil's Elbow. Up the hill once again. A little bit of a run wide there actually by Hal Ridge. And the same in the background then from Sellers. Lock up then from Hal Ridge as well. Door open up the top of the hill. Steve Hill trying to find a move but not quite close enough. As we head then back down towards Paddock Bend, Ollie O'Donovan actually nowhere near Toe Hill right now. Toe Hill starting P5 on the grid has had an incredible first couple of laps here. Look at the gap he's got as we head then through turn number one. Only two laps remain here for this qualifying round and Toe Hill is trying to set the best time he possibly can. And well, by the looks of where he is on circuit right now, considering he is up ahead of the championship leader, you can only say that this is going to be a very quick time in Indeed, as we come through then, the Devil's Elbow once again, all five cars, pretty close proximity there. You can see how Rich sliding the car around. So moving the car one way to try and gain momentum the opposite way. Just trying to overdrive potentially. Sellers there just running a little bit wide at the top of the hill as well. Through Paddock Bend we come, one lap to go. And really, Toe Hill is just all about him and making sure that he just hits every apex, hits every break point and well, potentially take the quickest time in terms of the qualifying session. We've got Vitols then and uh, Jack Thorne, who will be racing in the second qualifying round, and those two have been super quick all weekend. So Toehill knows he's got to produce something very, very special if he wants to take qualifying number one. So only a couple of corners to go then for Toehill. And he looks cool, calm and composed. Sunday, super Sunday potentially here. He is, again, second in the championship by three points, but he started the day off wonderfully well here with a couple of corners to go. And with his championship rival behind him in this race here, Toehill is going to take race number one victory. Cracking effort from him. It's going to be then in second position, O'Donovan. In third is going to be Hal Ridge. And it's going to be Steve Hill in fourth position. And Seller then will finish in fifth spot. O'Donovan then with a time of a two minutes, 59.843.